going to give my creature life? LIFE! Hello and welcome to Random Movie Time. Today we are discussing the 2015 film Victor Frankenstein, directed by Paul McGuigan, starring Daniel Radcliffe, James McAvoy, Jessica Brown, and there's a wee little bit of Charles Dance in there too. The film is a retelling of the classic Mary Shelley story Frankenstein from the point of view of Igor. Well, Tommy, what did you think of this movie? Well, this movie was really, really terrible. I don't know what it is with Frankenstein movies, but starting with 1985's The Bride with Sting, and then Kenneth Branagh's Mary Shelley's Frankenstein starring Robert De Niro, and then I, Frankenstein starring Aaron Eckhart, and now this one. They just keep getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Um, the only exception being Young Frankenstein, which is a comedy, but has you know, much more to do with the spirit of the original Universal Monster movies than any of these turkeys. Uh, it was disgusting. I don't mind disgusting when it's, like, necessary to the plot. Like, we reviewed Alien, and that movie's very disgusting, but it's done in such a way that it's necessary to the plot, and you get why it's gross, and you appreciate that it's gross. But in this movie, it's just gross for the sake of being gross and it you know it's sort of like garbage pale kids lev level of of gross and humor and it's just stupid i don't think the movie looked good i thought you know the sets were like really tacky they obviously put a lot of work into it but i mean it just looked overwrought like somebody trying to kind of copy tim burton what about you shannon what did you think about this movie Oh uh, yeah, there it was. It was very bad. So what I didn't get is they're trying to tell it from the point of view of Igor. I mean, if you uh, if you want to reimagine Frankenstein, uh, whatever you want to reimagine a classic story, that's fine. But I mean, at least do it well and with creativity. This this was. Um, a film that jumped everywhere, like all over the place. The editing was pretty bad. The special effects were awful. The acting wasn't that great. Uh, and it didn't make sense, a lot of it. It's, it's actually um, kind of a prequel to Frankenstein in a way. So in this film, Igor isn't a hunchback yet, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Well, he was a hunchback. And then oh, well, that's right. He, he made him, him not a hunchback in about five seconds. Yeah. He fixed him using science! It was ridiculous. Um, one thing I didn't get was apparently Igor was owned by this circus for, for many years, and then Frankenstein broke him out. And all of a sudden, he Igor can go around London, and he knows how to... Uh, use money and he knows how to swim and he knows how to do all these things but apparently he he just grew up from a very young age in the circus so apparently he automatically knows how to do this shit and you'd think he was public enemy number one too like all the resources that scotland yard throws at trying to find 
this escaped hunchback from a circus, like who would honestly give a shit? Like it, like it didn't make any sense at all. No, and you know, if they're trying to address moral questions, that's fine. But it's weak. If that if that was the aim, it was a really weak way of doing it. Um, if they were just trying to simply retell or reimagine the story, why would they do that? It's been done to death. It's been done so many times. Rarely done well, as Tommy has pointed out. Um, and it's too long. It really doesn't need to be that long. I even put down on my notes, who wrote this shit? This sucks. Well, usually McAvoy and Radcliffe are better actors. They're good actors. All of the actors in this movie are, like, good, usually. I just think they were given a really bad script, and they probably didn't give it their all because they just realized how stupid it was. Yeah, it was stupid. I was happy to see Charles dance because I love him. But uh, he had a, a very, very minor role Yeah, playing his typical Charles dance type of person. <laughs> he was in like maybe two scenes. Blink and you'll miss him. Blink and you'll miss him. So I'm trying to think of any merits to this film. Um, and I can't really. Uh, I I don't even I mean the it was it was piecemeal like Frankenstein's monster was, you know. They just kind of tried to slap things together. Even the music was, was just kind of, they, it didn't fit together. So, yeah. I guess overall, for me, it was pretty terrible. So, Tommy, how many brains in a jar would you give this one? Well, I'll give it half a brain because... There was one line that I thought was really funny about when they were creating uh, the monster and they were trying to decide what shape of head they should give it. There was kind of a funny line that made me laugh a lot, but that was the only bright spot in this movie. So just for that one line, I'll give it half a brain. All right. What about you, Shannon? How many brains in a jar? No brains. Zero. I do not recommend this movie. If you want to torture yourself, go ahead and watch it. But otherwise, I do not recommend it. So I guess that's it. I guess we are done with young or with Victor Frankenstein. Use your gray matter and pick a better movie. And until next time, we'll see you on. Random, Random movie, movie time. time.